switch my headphones. Hold up. What do you know about this? Welcome, This is Nice Live, number 38, with special guest co host, Tiana Lede. Ladies and gentlemen, Kiana Lede. She had a rough day. Man, how you doing? I'm doing good, man. It's the end of the day. It's my favorite part, the end. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Did you have a was it a was it a this got a you must have had this before. A, Ke, a Kiana bad, bad day? Bad, bad day? Yeah, I had an interesting day. It was an interesting day. But it ended up being good. I'm here now. This is gonna be so good. I'm ready for the video. This is one of my favorite videos that I've ever been a part of. Really? Yeah, it's just so beautiful. And the just energy on set was amazing. Oh man. So I think I just have good, I have like positive attachments to this video, you know? I love that. I love that so much. It's the, um, one of the first videos I haven't been able to attend of my own because of the COVID shit. Crazy, mm -hmm. like texting with the director and producer in advance. Like, yeah, I'm gonna probably pop by. He's like, don't pop by. <laughs> How about you don't <laughs> pop by? Your presence was definitely felt though. We felt you there. Uh, that's, that's yeah. Uh, there was like a big, beautiful tree out front. I was trying to, you know, channel up, trying to send some, send some vibrations. Love that. You know how I, you know how it is. Um, welcome to uh, to to Nice Live. We have a couple of slogans. Um, we say uh, broadcasting inspiration, screaming into the void, 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 void. Um, no rules, all heart. But I always say it backwards. If I've had a lot of wine, it'll be quickly become. Um, all rules, no heart. I say that more often <laughs> than the other one. Um, have you had to do a bunch of live streams uh, since we've been in the shit? Uh, at the beginning of COVID, I definitely had more live streams than I do now. Just because April, I released my album. So it was a lot of like radio Whoa. stuff and my own lives and trying to like... I was supposed to do a lot of EP release performances, and um, so I kind of had to make up for those. I still wanted to do them so that people could see me performing the music. So I did a lot of right. that at the beginning. Not right. so much now, though. So I kind of took a break. It's nice to do it again. Dude, I mean, I felt like at the beginning of this, so embarrassing. Just like everybody was like, yo, I know what to do. Live stream. <laughs> I was just like one of... 10,000 of us like with the same bright idea but um <laughs> up until two weeks ago i've been doing it twice a week like on my 10th one of these um where the first the first song for this album was actually born uh i had like a gnarly day it was like probably late april early may maybe and uh i like cried in the middle of the stream i just like i was just fucked up mm. it was really but it was, it was... Why was why was it so bad? Why was your day so bad? I'll tell you. Um, thank you for asking. It was... I had been working on this project. You know how... Do you get... Are you an anxiety, depression person? Oh, yeah. All right, let's go. Let's fucking go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so... I, I, always, I specialize in anxiety and depression in my life. Well, so fucking I cheers feel... to you. Same. <laughs> Same. So, no, I, I, as an anxious person, I tend to um, over-function. I think with anxiety, people have anxiety, like, usually over-function or under-function. Over-functioning is, like, 
the type of person who's like, okay, no, it's fine. I'm just going to make some lists. I got to do some, I got to set up some tasks, accomplish my tasks and you try to push it out, you know, um, yeah. under functioning obviously looks more like depression. You kind of shut down, freeze, go away. Um, so for me, you know, when this whole thing hit, my natural idea was to cut, try to control it and try to give myself shit to do, you know, and pile on and pile on and pile on. And, mm. uh, one of these projects I had given myself, basically the bottom fell out. You know, I was trying to do too much at once. I was spreading myself thin. I was hurting my family, you know, and just had, it was the day where the, the project really just crumbled. Um, mm -hmm. And on air, I had gotten this Terrace Martin keyboard part. Terrace had texted me and one of my artists, St. Panther, she put a vocal on it. I was like, I need something for the show tonight. Can you sing on this thing? And when I listened to it live for the very first time, I just cried, dude. It was just, mm. it just got me. But it was like, it was really an important moment for me because I was, it allowed me, especially as a father and shit, you know, it's complicated vulnerability, like really trying to hold up a thing. And mm. it was hard, but it ended up being really valuable. And it was the, the moment that kicked off this whole album that is the reason we know each other you know wow that's beautiful it's been a journey bro well i applaud you for being someone who can be so open about that and authentic about that like it's nice to see especially in a day and age where we only have our phones and mm. we can only connect this way for right. people to see that you know people struggle with anxiety and depression and we can be open about it and raise awareness about it and that way we can get help and like just understanding i always say understanding and empathy is like the number one rule of life and if we all had more of it mm. it would be a much better world and so for you to share that vulnerable moment just makes it so beautiful and i'm sure a lot of people saw that as especially fathers like i'm sure there were some fathers that were watching that that saw that as like a a strengthening moment for them right right so i mean i applaud you for that thank you that's the dream that that's that's definitely the dream and it's awesome that that's something that you um I, I mean, you must get into that, and 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 I know from your music, obviously, you really, you really process out in the open, and I'm sure a lot of people find it healing and and valuable. Um, speaking of which, you got so many fans in the chat. This is by far the biggest we've ever been. I see all mm -hmm. my people. I got I got like a good a good like scrappy gang of like 20 or 30 of us yo for my birthday they like recorded me a song and surprised me on air and shit oh that's so nice like, when was your birthday uh july 23rd a happy late birthday really thank late you. but happy birthday <laughs> thank you what, what when's your birthday april cool i don't know mm -hmm. anything about zodiac stuff i'm an aries so what's that mean we're pretty cool. Just know that we're like the best sign out there. <laughs> <laughs> Tight. Oh, wait, we My got a donation. We got a well, anonymous yes. donated $5. A big, big five spot. Yeah, I got my, I got my music. Why was that so, that was very quiet. My little tunes here. Anyways, Woo! um, yes. That's the cam girl coin. Cam girl coin. This, welcome to... Ricky and Kiana's OnlyFans. Um, we're mm -hmm. raising money to fight climate change. <laughs> 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 you know. And um, my dad's in the chat, which makes it really weird. Hi, Dad. He texted up, Dad? <laughs> he texted me just now saying, let's get this party started. So he's in the party. Hey, love that. Love that. Um, <laughs> yeah, man, it's going to be a, it's going to be a fun night. Dads, everybody, we, we're going to debut the music video at was a nine thirty West Coast. So if you're if you're good at math, you know what that means. Fifty minutes from now, um, it's gonna be great. We also want if you guys have questions for Kiana, questions for Leon. I can't tell you how many times I've said Kian and Liana talking about you guys. <laughs> just fuck. You can just combine it into one name. Oh, like like a like a celebrity couple. Yeah, Liana. I think Liana more than Keon, right? Yeah, no, Liana is better. But L I A N A. 
No. L E N A. Ooh, that's nice. Liana. Mm -hmm. Hi, mom. My mom's here too. Hi, mom. Oh man, mom and dad. Yeah. Wait, can you tell me what their what are their uh, what are their names in the thing? Uh, well, Michael Brown and Shakira Matherly are their names. Okay, love. But I don't know what it looks like on the thing. Okay, I'm keeping an eye for them. We got a uh, we got my usual co-host Jazz in the chat. What's up, Jazz? Let me see if all my people are here. Oh, dude, before hey, I Jazz. forget, I need to know how you're feeling today. We talked a little bit about it, but on a scale of one to ten, include the decimal point. People in the chat. We want to know. I got my mysterious music. Um, what is it? What is what is it for you today? What's your number, Kiana? Mm, I'd probably say uh, like a seven point eight. Oh, not bad. Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty good. Like. I've been like the least anxious the past two weeks than I have been in a long time. So really? I'm just like, I'm on that like upper scale in general, even on a bad day. I'm like, it's still like, uh, it doesn't go below a six right now. Wow. You, so you got a six for a floor right now. Yeah. It's pretty That's good. Great. Wow. How about you? Um, I'm, I'm right there with you tonight. I'm, I'm probably, I mean, I've had, was Thursday, Monday and Tuesday were, were rough. Those were rough days. I don't know what it was. If it was, um, you know, like maybe like the little, a couple earthquakes, Trump dissolving the postal service, you know, it was like a, it was like just a couple, couple of those things at once kind of day today though. I'm cooking. I mean, I'm gonna do 7.6 today. Wow. Yeah. You're in the seven if, club with me. Dude, I love it. If you, if you uh, had seen most of my live streams, I mean, seven point six for me is uh, that's up there. I don't, I think I've been above eight like twice since this whole shit hit the fan. Yeah. You know. What I'm I saying? mean, the fact that you were even able to get to an eight is pretty good. Yeah, for real, for real. Um, okay, we got some people coming in the chat. Let's see, Ian Galdi is a six point eight. Alexis. Uh, five point four, but still grateful. We like that. Hi. We like that. Jazz six point five. Oh, Jazz, what's up, dude? Um, wow, we we have people in the chat. Okay, we have a Deja Jones. Do you know who this is? <laughs> Am I saying the name I right? Deja. Yeah. Uh, so we ha there's people that are a fan of her in the chat talking to her. There's a whole thing going on in here. Um. <laughs> What's up, Deja? We got a Cedric at a seven. Okay, we got some seven point eight. Cowboy Lansky seven point eight. Kiana, we have a nine point one from a Josh. Damn, get it, Josh. That's what I'm saying. When people say ten, I'm like, get out. Get real. <laughs> get real or get out. <laughs> oh, Angela, you just Angela's trying to come in on a ten. Okay, maybe, maybe, you know. Maybe you're like a Buddhist or something. Maybe you gotta figure it out. You really got your life together. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, um, okay, we're going to bring out our first guest. Um, also, if you just tuned in, we're going to be premiering a video at 930. We're talking to Leon uh, in about 15 minutes. But first up, we have um, our first guest of the night. Let me see if she has, in fact, arrived. He has arrived. The queen has arrived. Let's see. There she is. Let me get up. Let me. I'm I'm like resizing the frame in real time here. Okay, we're gonna bring her out. Wahala Johns from Native Renewables. What's up? Welcome. Thank you very much. Um, good evening, everybody. Hi. How's everyone doing? Good. Good. Wahala, this is Kiana. Good. Hey. Nice to Hi. meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, Wahala, where Arizona. exactly are you coming to us from right now? Um, Oakland, California. Oh, you're in the Bay. I'm in the Bay, yeah. Bay. Love it. Yeah, but I'm from Northeastern Arizona, and I'm actually um, going back next week, so I'll be there. No way! I just was in Sedona. Um, I just got back yesterday. Nice. It's beautiful, right? 
Yeah, it's so beautiful. Much needed. I've been there twice in the last like month and man, life changing for sure. Dude. Yeah, it's a um, it's a special place to many indigenous tribes, very sacred. And of course, you probably saw all the vortex uh, areas that are being promoted, but it is a really healing place. Um, mm -hmm. But that's awesome. Man, that's beautiful. Well, uh, well, Hala, thank you for coming through. I wanted to like talk a little bit because we so you and I spoke um, whatever it was a couple weeks ago and I wanted you and Kiana to meet. Kiana's originally from what, Phoenix, South Phoenix. Is that right? South Phoenix. South Phoenix. Um, and we're obviously people to the people in the chat watching. We're raising money uh, for Wahela's company, which is called Native Renewables. Um, we're doing that right now. So if you guys are feeling generous, you know, drop in. But also please uh, follow them. Education is just as good as um as a donation so check out what they're doing uh but wahela would you sort of give us a light rundown of kind of what your guys's day-to-day -day work is um in the navajo nation yeah thank you for that question um so our organization started uh because we felt the need uh to help build capacity for tribal members throughout the Nav um, throughout our nation our tribal nations but all through mm -hmm. throughout indian country um, and in particularly the Southwest, we get over 300 days of sunlight and we wanted to uh, focus on training our tribal people on how to utilize um, this renewable energy source that shines on us every single day um, and the benefits of it where it could power our homes, it can power our communities. Um, and it also falls in line, this renewable energy source falls in line with our traditional teachings as, as indigenous peoples. Um, right. And so every day is uh, really promoting solar power and how it can um, support uh, self-sufficiency, the self-reliance and strength um, of our lifeways. We live in really remote locations on our tribal reservation. We mm -hmm. have about um, 15,000 families that don't have access to electricity today. Uh, we have 40% of our people that don't have access to running water. And this is in the United mm -hmm. States. So, you know, this is uh, um, not far from Phoenix. And yet, right. when you, um, you know, we have been a provider of power, though. Uh, the raw resources from our reservation have fueled um, power for Los Angeles, Las Vegas, Phoenix. And I think this is the, you know, um, for me is really to tell the story that there is another way to generate power that comes from um, the sunlight. And, right. and we can also participate in this um, technology to provide jobs, opportunities, but also mm -hmm. um, learn something more than trying to take away from our mother earth and um, teach our younger generations of leaving this land in a good, you know, in good hands uh, for our children and our, you know, great grandchildren. And I think right. that's the motivation that, that we have as um, a team and um, currently we are designing a program to address um, all these homes that don't have access to electricity with solar power. And it's really exciting. Um, yes. And so uh, we are um, pretty much just, um, we're engineers, we're electricians, we're community organizers, and these are all the trades that actually make a solid program happen. So that's right. our day to day. That's that is, I mean, that's just so incredible that when we when we spoke um, before, obviously, the idea of of not just taking 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 from the earth, but also also the idea of generating power from the sun, which is an amazing, um, obviously infinitely renewable. Re what we're going through right now, and I was like, oh man, Kiana's got to hear this. It's gonna blow her mind. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind sharing that, um, Wahela, I think it would be, I think it'd be really cool for her to hear, and and all the people that are tuning in. There's a there's a lot of people watching. Pretty cool. Yeah. So um, we have these amazing teachings, um, and uh, we call it emergent stories of how our people came to this world. And it's really fascinating. Um, and in Arizona, we have over 20 tribes, uh, different languages, 
different narratives of their origin story. And that's, you know, we're culturally rich in this country and or as original uh, people of this land. Um, there's so much that we can learn from, um, from these traditional ecological knowledge that we carry. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I was sharing with you that, you know, we um, have this beautiful narrative of um, we have hero twins um, and that we're um, wanting to do something more wanting to go against um, the monsters that were plaguing our earth and our, our lands. And um, they went through different journeys and challenges. And many of the different um, spirit animals and um, deities told them that um, in order to defeat these monsters, you have to travel to the sun. And so they took that journey. And on the way, they found out that they were the children of the sun. Um, and that was their mm -hmm. father. And so these two warrior twins uh, went to uh, see the son and told them, told him that, you know, we're your children. And, um, and so he put them through a lot of tests um, and um, to prove that they, that they were of uh, um, his children and they overcame these um, challenges. And so the son gave these um, uh, tools to the twins to bring back down to earth and to slay the monsters. All of the monsters that have been harming our people. And um, when they would slay them, they would, these monsters would go back into the earth. And there's a teaching there that we're not supposed to disturb the earth or else the monsters are gonna come out and harm the people again. And so mm -hmm. just even that as brief as you know that story, um, there's a lot of teachings in that how we have to um, be careful in the way that we are moving and operating, but also how are we addressing these monsters that currently in, are in our communities, that are in our food systems, our water systems, um, that have, are hurting our people, hurting our health with even in this pandemic. And I think there's, um, we go to these teachings and we, we, we go to these ceremonies and using our language to really ground us in, in um, what we have to continue to that makes us strong but also resilient and i think that's the beauty of like the the sunlight you know it just is is so healing and um kiana i'm really happy to meet you that you are from a beautiful state with such rich history and i would love for you to come and visit our people on our on our reservation um and and all of you it's just i mean right now is not best time because of COVID, but at some right. point in the future, um, would love to share more about our people and um, that exchange that we, we, we enjoy um, sharing about our knowledge and our wisdom. I would absolutely love that. I've always been so curious because, I mean, obviously I grew up in Arizona, so there are a lot of Native reservations and I've, I'm Native myself, but my oh, mom's... Okay. Um, father was native mexican and he was deported before she was born unfortunately so i it was a side of me that i never really got to experience or explore um and i would just love that like that i feel like that would make me feel really connected to myself and to like a greater purpose too i that would honestly i would be so grateful for that mm. yes that's amazing um it's a beautiful story it is, and I think that you know I, I appreciate the um, you know the amplification that um, we are you know raising around um, the protecting of Mother Earth and our duty to each other, um, and then um, and especially during this time where you know uh, we it, it's a, it's a really messy you know and it, um, there's a lot of injustice that is um, everywhere you know that that is probably coming to light more. Um, mm -hmm. and during this pandemic. And I think uh, we have the right tools to overcome, uh, you know, some of these monsters that are, that are harming us right now. And how do we build collectively together um, and, and demonstrate that kind of um, interconnection um, that we all have and carry, so. Right. And guys, mm -hmm. uh, since we have been talking, we've got a couple donations in. Pretty exciting. Anonymous, $50. Uh, well, Hale, I have a really dumb sound effect that I play when we get a donation. It sounds like this. <laughs> uh, 
we got a $50 donation from Anonymous. We got Evan Mahalski, $50 donation. Wow. Uh, Johnica Simmons donated $5. Thank you. Amanda Chattison, $50. Sadie Harris, $5. Everything, everything and anything counts. Wahala, would you explain the, um, the uh, solar cell phone charging units that you guys uh, supply? Those are so, it sounds like such a great, a great concept. Yeah, so we have been designing um, off-grid solar units that um, as small as a, that can charge a cell phone um, and uh, connectivity needs um, for small homes. And we also have um, solar lanterns that are kind of basic for, you know, lighting in a home. Um, mm -hmm. We also big, build bigger solar off-grid solar units that can power a refrigerator, basic lighting, you know, one room to three bedroom homes, all off grid. And uh, wow. it's, it's pretty powerful that, you know, um, we, we are hoping to launch, you know, over a thousand systems into our communities to help bring power to people with off grid solar. Um, and that requires people understanding how to manage their energy load and, um, and be able to sustain you know, their lives for 20 years, this technology. And we th think that's very powerful. Um, and it, sh it shows that we can be energy independent and um, self-reliant, but also that self-determination that is so key to all of our communities that we are um, trying to attain to, you know, and um, yeah. So we offer different size products. And um, during this pandemic, it has hit our communities um, disproportionately um, you know, indigenous communities and communities of color um, have been suffering from this pandemic. And, you know, we've been bringing simple lighting and cell phone charge to, you know, elders that live in really remote places. Um, and it really helps. And I think that, um, you know, even with water and with uh, food supply, there's a, a, lot of, lot, a, a lot of mutual aid efforts happening throughout tribal reservations to support communities in rural areas. So, yeah, right. I think it's um, it's neat how um, we are building a network of supporting each other across borders, um, across state lines, and that's really powerful. Just everything, everything that you guys are doing is so, so amazing. We're really, really glad to have you on tonight. I actually have our um, video that we produced. I want to show people uh, before before we move on. So we're going to drop over to that. Give me one second. Here it is. Hi, everyone. I'm Wahela Johns. I'm with Native Renewables. We have 15,000 families on the Navajo Reservation that don't have access to electricity. What we have designed is this program that will help build a workforce um, a solar workforce that means jobs for our people and bring energy security for these families that live in really beautiful remote locations in the southwest. We've designed an off-grid solar unit that will power refrigeration, appliances, lighting for our future generations to be able to have a community that is generating power by clean energy. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Superstar. Well, Wahela, thank you so, so much for coming through. Um, the people that donated, we appreciate you. Awesome. Um, and uh, we'll be we'll be checking in with you later. And um, I really hope Kiana comes up and takes you up on your offer at some point. It definitely yes. will. Oh, for sure. We would love that. Totally welcome you. You as well, Ricky. I mean, <laughs> yeah, anytime, let us know. Um, and thank you for having me on this show and talking with you both. This is lovely, really lovely, lovely. All right, well, we'll talk to you soon. Do you have like a clap sound or something for her? What's that? Do you have like a clap sound or something for her? Oh, or should yeah. we just snap? Like she needs like a yeah. Woo! Yeah, wait, I do actually. I do have. I do have one thing. I do have one thing. Hold on. Um, she deserves like the Beyonce kind of applause and crowd. Work, I don't know, you know how I do. Wait, let me just this. I might mess everything up, but let me just try this. Retweet, 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 retweet. <laughs> <Did> that, <laughs> that's a, 
I had I had that ready. That's what okay. I got. It was good. <laughs> okay. Close enough. Awesome. Thank you, Wahala. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Um, road what trip. A... What? Road trip? Should we take a road trip? Dude, I'm so down. When the outside opens up and it's safe, let's go. Dude, I'll pack up the minivan. All the all, all my children. You'll uh, you'll love them. You will love them. They are, they are very, they're very sweet. Um, that was so cool. We like, like made over a hundred bucks. Um, oh wait, uh, Victoria Lawson just dropped a twenty on us. Thanks. It's Mickey. Yeah. Cheers. Welcome to our OnlyFans. Hey. With our like weird Alfred Hitchcock music, like raising it. money to fight climate change. Um, <laughs> How you doing? You having a good time so far? I'm having such a good time. It's so much better when you're doing it with other people. Dude. Having to like carry the fucking juice is not great. I mean, it's what we do, but it's, you know. Yeah. It can be a lot. It's probably my favorite, my least favorite part. Carrying, carrying the energy on a live stream by myself. Because I want to see people. Like, I want to feel people's energy. I want to interact with people. And, like, I do – I my fans really help me out because they know that's how I feel. So, right. like, they, like, comment and, like, make funny jokes. And I love them for that. But it's really nice to have your – like, see your face on this. Hey, likewise, honestly. We have some <laughs> questions for you that have started to okay. roll in. Um, okay. First one. What's your go-to road trip snack? Mm. Maybe Takis. Oh, bro. <laughs> it's got to be like a spicy chip. Yeah. Do you, how do you feel about um How do you feel about flaming hot munchies? I think I like the cheese ones better. <laughs> you don't like the flaming hot? Are you not a, like a flaming hot person? No, I am, but like with munchies, I think I just like the cheese ones better because you know how like the cheese gets extra coated on the Chex Mix ones. Yes, yes, I yes. I love that. Yes, yeah, I, I love feel that. that. I'm, I yeah. What about I'm, you? I'm, de I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm a flaming. I mean, it depends on like if I'm trying to stay awake or if I, I'm, if I'm like depressed on tour, it's gonna be. Crumb don crumb donuts, oh. flaming hot munchies. Um, but I mean, if it's just like a road trip, and I'm with people that I like don't want, you know, that I want to impress a little bit, maybe I'll mm. get that popcorn. You know, the, the smart and healthy popcorn. The smart food popcorn. <laughs> that shit is good though. The it white so cheddar good. one. Oh my god, so good. Yes. Um. Okay, so that's a good one. Let me scroll. Let me scroll. Let me see what else we got. Um, ding, 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 ding. Let's see. Uh, looking for good ones. Looking for good ones. Let's see. Uh, okay, here we go. How was filming the music video during the pandemic? How was it different? I mean, it was way, way safe. Um, people had to get tested um, right before. And then we went. And I, what I liked about it that was different was that there wasn't as many people like it was just a very select small crew and that made me feel more comfortable to do what i do when i have mm. an audience with music videos i get a little freaked out because yeah. i'm like a very self-aware person like i like to see what i'm doing and then i can critique myself and then get back to it but when there's like a lot of commotion around me i have too much add to like mm. focus oh. so it was nice to have like a smaller group of people and we just had really good energy on set like everyone that was there when we were when me and leon were doing takes like they were like hi give us high energy and everyone was like hey ho oh, and it was great i loved it oh that's amazing I feel as, like strict or stressful you know that's amazing 
Oh, dude. Yeah, that I did also didn't know um didn't know that you had ADD. Yeah. That shit um, is real. You know, I actually um yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's a long story. I won't even get into it. I won't even get into Dude, it. Dude, no, it's <laughs> my, it's been a lifelong. My my wife found out, found out that she had ADD when she was like thirty, and it was like actually amazing because then she she realized so much shit about herself. Oh fuck! Okay, that's why I do this. That's why I do that. Oh, right. okay, and it actually like made things make sense a little more. You know, right. um, yeah. Oh my god. Okay, now the questions are flying, dude. Yes. Deja, I think we I think we asked yours, but if you got another one, we're here for it. When are we getting Kiki Deluxe? says Imani. Mm, it's coming soon. Um I can't really give a date yet cuz it's I need to make some changes first. Ooh. You guys know I'm a perfectionist. I need to just I'm not going to give the date until it's solid that I'm solid with the songs. Because I just want it to be really good. Mm, okay, we like that. I'm scared okay. of commitment. Wow, that's the tr that's the truth. <laughs> that's the real answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, how about... Okay, Deja had a second one. What was that dark drink in your glass in the video, Kiana? That's how she phrased oh! it. It was wine, but I didn't drink it. Okay, it's called acting. Look it up. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> they just always trying to clown me on my lives though she knows what it is i love her okay okay um how about let's see nanda says kiana do you intend to do any more kiki music video yes okay i intend to do some let's see if quarantine and the rona let me do it damn wow okay she asked that question twice love it love it love it how about um Man, okay, they are cooking now. We got people talking about gluten-free food. Um, oh, okay, here we go. This is nice. Anaya Papaya, love that. What is one thing you hope to accomplish with your activism by the end of 2020? Mm, I think the, the main thing that I want to accomplish with my activism is... Uh, creating the stricter policy. I was talking about this on, on my Instagram before, but um, I'm creating a, building a policy or, or I guess editing and rewriting a policy with some of my friends who are alumni of the high school I went to mm -hmm. in Ahwatukee, Phoenix. And um, just to enforce stricter rules and consequences for people who display acts of hate in school, mm -hmm. yeah. faculty and it's included Ooh. what fuck man why do we even have like why does faculty even need to be oh we lost you what but my point stands <laughs> why does that even have to be the case um my guess is this is a phone died situation so i'm going to i'm gonna bring out our next guest um Man, Kiana is awesome. This is one of the this is one of the best live streams we've had. I mean, people people who've seen a couple of these of mine know that we don't we don't always get the fireworks like this. I mean, I try. Drink a bunch. So, um, yes, Kiana's on her way back. She'll be back shortly. But in the meantime, Let's bring out our next guest, huh? <laughs> Closed cap in the chat says the faculty <laughs> shut her down. <laughs> definitely, definitely it. Um, all the Kiana fans, I want you to know she will be back. I know exactly, Deja, yo, I would, I'm down. I'd share this with you if I could. I promise you that. Um, she will be back. She, I've seen this before. This is definitely a phone died uh, scenario, which is fine. 
Um, she'll be back in a minute, and we're premiering our music video in 20 minutes. Uh, Leon's going to come through shortly. Talk to him, talk to them together, talk about making the video, making the song, maybe do a couple more questions. So if you guys have more questions, please, 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 please get those all ready. Um, maybe some questions I can ask both of them. That would be tight. So um, let's see. Who do we have? We, we've made some money for the organizations tonight. How cool was Wahala? Oh, my God. What they're doing is amazing. So, 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 so stoked. Um, people in the chat, let me ask you guys a question. Uh, what day is it? It's August 13th. It's August 13th. Um, not to get too crazy, but are you guys feeling... Uh, oh, I was just about to get political, but Leon, Leon saved me. Get a little wine, get a little wine going. And, uh, and there I am, trying to cause trouble. Okay. We do need a nice life mug. Um, if you're also just joining us, you should know that Brand new song with myself, Ricky Reed, Kiana Lede, Leon Bridges. Just dropped 13 minutes ago. It's called Better. Uh, it's from my new album called The Room. And I didn't introduce myself properly earlier, but I am a record producer, artist. Um, worked a bunch with Leon Bridges before, but first time working with Kiana. And uh, the process was amazing. I cannot wait to talk to them both at the same time about this whole thing. Let me um, try this. Oh, okay. Hey, 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 where is he at, where is he at, where is he at? Where? Leon Bridges, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. What's happening, what's happening? Hey. <laughs> oh, shit, wait, wait. Yo, Kiana's here, too. Hold on, hold Wait, on. Wait, where did she? Go? Where did Kiana go? Let me pull her up. Let me pull her up. Let me pull her up. Let me do it. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me one second. Pour your drink. Oh yeah, yeah. Let me. Re re Leon Bridges it. and Kiana Lede. Yay! Yay! What? Wait, so what Kiana, was that? that wasn't you. That was me, huh? Yeah, I think so. Cause me and Leon were talking on the side, just you know, chatting. <laughs> you, you, you were frozen. You guys were like in the digital backstage, just chilling. Yeah, yeah. in the in the Hanging green out. room, you know. <laughs> What's going wow. on? Wow. Um, I so, sorry, Kiana. I slandered you on air. I said, "Oh, her phone probably died." <gasps> Trash. What? No, I, I got my shit plugged. Nah. I can't. I can't, I can't believe it because I've had this before. Honestly, like a couple times where people just like where it goes blip and then it's always been a phone die, but some shit went down here. I'm so sorry. And in front, okay. and in front of all your fans. <laughs> Did he, he right, they're used to my technical issues. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, um, guys, this is so cool. This is like the first time that we've hung out. Yeah, totally. Good, good, to, good to see y'all. This is it. Yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, nice so, questions have been flying in for both of you. Before we get to any of that stuff. Um, Let's just talk about making this tune. So, Kiana, this is something that Leon and I had begun a couple months back. Um, mm. And it was something that we had been sitting on trying to figure out when this album started getting made. Um, seemed like it could make sense because we're all here at home. This song's obviously about spending time with your people, uh, reconnecting with everyone. I don't know about you, Kiana, but Leon hadn't been home for more than a week in how how many years would you say Leon? <laughs> i mean like you uh, on tour for your adult life right i mean ser seriously i mean like from i mean for at least four or five years you know and to even say um you know i i i didn't you know couldn't i didn't spend time you know when i when i was home you know it's like three days at a time and then it's you know back on the road and um and i can say that a lot of that has to do with you know 
my relationship with my family being diminished, you know? Right. Mm. Right. Kiana, do you, um, before all this, are you travel a lot, move around a lot? Yeah. For the last two years, I've been like, it was kind of the same thing. I wasn't really home for more than a week or two. Mm -hmm. Um, so, and I don't, my family, none of my family lives in LA, so I don't really see them. I haven't seen them other than Christmas really since I moved here, honestly. Wow. It's, um, yeah. yeah, it's pretty tough. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, Leon, you have kind of like a, you look like a, like a Radiohead video right now. Oh my God. Like, okay, I'm back. I'm back. He's back. I'm back. No, it was, I mean, this is the whole, I, I love creating, um, you know, music with you and the team, man. Like it was really rad to um, to get back to the energy of of making music like live. And I think that's the beautiful thing is a lot of the, you know, this, you know, our upcoming albums, it was derived from those live jams. Oh my God. Kiana, you have to come through when we're- Yeah, what? I'm GD, GD. Dude, so there's a spot <laughs> that we work at called Gold Diggers um, in East Hollywood. And we would do these like crazy, and this song came from one of those these like late night improv sessions. Get like four or five players in, some writers, some just great players, and just do like five or six jams, and you know, kind of just stitch together a song arrangement from these like hour long jams. And then, and better was one of those. It was took all the great moments from this long improvisation and turned it into a track. Um, you would be so dope to be in one of yeah. the jams dude oh my god i love that that's literally one of my dreams i say that all the time because after i was touring yeah. with my band for so long i was like why don't i just make a whole album like this of just like jam session songs so that's amazing mm -hmm. that you guys already did that i'm really jealous that i wasn't there and i'm definitely pulling up when corona's over yes dude yes i mean and to the people in the chat let us know if you're here for a kiana live band album I have an answer. <laughs> I guess what well, everyone's they... gonna say. Um, <laughs> they want. It. If they say what I think they're wait, if they don't say what I think they're gonna say, I'm gonna be really offended. So everybody better just say yes. There is a right <laughs> answer here. Man, this relationship with your fans it's uh, it's it's you know it's it's intense. <laughs> you guys, I'm just an intense person, especially with the people that I love, and they I love them so much. Oh, that's that's great. Um, so Leon, we were talking about the music video shoot. Um, obviously being quarantined and everything or being masked and distant and shit, but like in Texas, it's kind of a different vibe, right? In LA, everyone's masked everywhere. <clears throat> Texas, it ain't really been like that, right? Totally, man. Um, I, I, you know, a lot of people are kind of, um, yeah, or are not really taking, you know, this whole, you know, coronavirus seriously. Um, and we we initially um, every you know we're closed down like everybody else, but um, some of the bars um, started to you know started to reopen. Right. And um, yeah, and I I you know I'm not really... so I so I went so I was I was there immediately. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> now it's it's you know I I don't really miss it you know I'm not in I'm not in a rush to you know to get back out and rage. Right. Um, it's it's been really healing, you know, spending, being home and, um, you know, spending, being isolated. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I, I know I, from, from our time together, you know, I, I know that like all musicians and performers, you know, you can do the thing when you got to do the thing. I think all of us can to some degree, but, but all of us need recharge time. And, um, that's really, really what the tune is about. Um, you know, I want to ask you also Kiana, when you first heard it, <laughs> like what went through your head and what was sort of your approach to writing it? Because the shit you wrote elevated it way beyond what I had ever imagined for the song. I mean, your writing was so crazy on it. What did you sort of like channel when you were working on it? For me, um, I mean, the verse was mostly about, I was, I was um, in a relationship at the time and it was mostly about like, being at home and kind of having mm -hmm. that like weird realization of like, oh shit, I can like put away my suitcase. Like my suitcase is never put away. I never get the time to just actually like chill on my couch and not have to get up 
like next morning to go on a flight. And it was almost like that anxiety that's attached to like, oh my God, like I'm actually like here and I get to be here for a while. What, what am I going to do? Like, I'm not used to this feeling. Mm-hmm. And um, cause I'm just such a busy body. And then uh, towards the second half of the song, when I sing my, my version or my interpretation or interpolation, I guess is the right word mm-hmm. of the hook. Um, that is really how I truly feel. And that was, that was, um, I mean, it was pretty close to what Leon said. It, it was just like, I wanted, I think my whole life I've been such a busy minded person and such a busy person and a busy right. body that I don't take the time to um, hone in and, and spend time on making quality relationships with the people that I love. And in complete honesty, they kind of get the shit end of the stick because they know that like my work comes first and they believe in me so much that I know that they try to put themselves on the back burner um, just Mm -hmm. out of selflessness, but that's not, it's still not okay. And I need to like really be a better person for everybody in my life. Um, Especially as I get older, you realize like how important those relationships really are and Mm. how like we spend so much time. When I said the thing about like, a nine to five, like we spend so much time working just to, we, we wait while we work for the wait time to be able to spend the quality time that we get. But even that quality time, if we don't really pay attention to it, it could not be quality time. The point of mm. working so hard is to be able to spend that quality time and that downtime. So we really have to cherish it when we have it. Dude, I mean, mm. you, know, you hit the nail on the head. It's like almost the saddest thing is thinking about your family and friends that are supportive, that don't give you a hard time, mm. you know, giving you their blessings, not pressuring you, and forgetting to check in with them. That mm. when you really think about that, you're like, mm. damn, like my best friend or like my mom. My mom, I haven't talked to my mom in, you know, like five weeks or something, and she's mm. trying to be cool and hang back. And then you have that realization, you're like, oh, yeah. I kind of wish you'd blow me up a little bit. I feel terrible. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and sure and that was... Yeah. Um, I want to get I want to get a few questions from people in the chat for you guys both while we're still here. In five minutes, we're dropping off. Uh, so everybody that's in the chat with us now will be immediately redirected um, to the music video. Uh, Leon, what do you uh, what, what do you what are, you, what are you drinking, buddy? Man, I'm, I'm on this uh, cute Cuvasian. You know what I'm talking about? Like <laughs> little Pinot, little Pinot, okay. you know, situation. Keanu, are you drinking tonight or no? Which what? good old Perrier. Got that oh. strawberry Perrier. It's my favorite. Is there, I dark, is there dark liquid in there? No, it's very clear. That's good. It's very, very clear. I drink like at least three of these a day. I spend a lot of money on Perrier. Mmm. Well, at okay. least your, your your liver is better, you know, than ours. <laughs> I mean, who knows? They might tell us in a month that Perrier like gives you some sort of poisoning. Exactly. You know, that changes all the time. So I'm just waiting for that, and then I'll deal with it when Perrier the time comes. poisoning put her in the. <laughs> um, okay, we got some stuff coming in here. Brianna S. For both okay. of you guys, what has the year 2020 taught you about yourself? They say yourself and the world as a whole. I mean, that's big. Uh, Keanu, I'll start with you. 2020, what has it taught you about yourself? Shit. I mean, I've learned a lot of things about myself this year. I think um, one of the biggest things that I learned is that I have to trust my gut. Um, I'm one of those people who, like, goes searching for validation with every emotion and every feeling that I have. Um, because I don't just trust myself, even though I know that it's valid and I know that it's right. Um, because any emotion that you feel is right, even if like your stance isn't right about something, how you feel can still be correct and, and valid. Yep. Um, and just knowing that my gut is also attached to my self-worth and what I think that I am deserving of in this life, which is why I posted that thing the other day on my Instagram saying I am deserving of whatever comes to me because it was meant for me because I think that's just like a really big thing that I'm learning like good or bad whatever comes to me in that moment is what is meant for me in that moment and I think I especially need to remember it in the good times so that's probably the biggest thing I've learned wow damn preach Leon Mm -hmm. uh yeah 
what, what do you um, think of 2020? What's the touch? I've, I've got so spoiled um, being disconnected um, from the world, you know, and, every, and everything to the point to where I don't think I want to um, get back on the, I mean, get back on the road and, 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 and be front man. And I kind of want to go behind the scenes a little bit, you know? Um, and I, and yeah, I think that's uh, wow. definitely for me. That's, wow. that's amazing, dude. I'm with, I mean, coming from me, somebody who works so hard with you and is so, you know, I don't think it's uh, an overstatement, so like invested in your career, but more importantly, uh, I think a close friend, I really care about your your well-being. And um, I think that not only do, do making decisions like that add value to your life, but I think also add value to your art, you know? Yeah. And your career. I just, yeah, I just, Any, I just want to have the Yeah, go on. Yeah, have, have the leverage to, you know, um, to be able to, um, you know, stay home and, um, and, and have the option to get back on the road um, at some point. But um, let me tell you, I saw, I saw D'Angelo at the House of Blues in Hollywood when he hadn't played his show in like eight years or something or 10 years. <laughs> uh -huh. you know, and, and people weren't cheering loud enough for an encore <laughs> and he did not do an encore. He was like, fuck you guys. <laughs> it was <laughs> yeah, <wild. exactly. laughs> But the point being like the real, some of the real OGs, yeah, they're just like, I'm going to tour when I want to tour and when I need to go home and take care of myself, I'm going to do exactly that. Totally. Thank you very much, wow. you know, mm -hmm. and it doesn't make him any less of a legend. If anything, it kind of makes him more. So <laughs> it's all good. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Wow. Wait, what about you? Wait, I just want to know about you. Has it taught me? <laughs> yeah. What's the biggest thing uh, you learned? God. Um, uh, that... I really wasn't ready for this. Um, Sorry. It's t no, no, no. It's <laughs> it's it's taught me that if I it's taught me that if I don't have my people, then I have nothing. Mm. Wow. My family, my friends, and it's reminded me that friendships are the most valuable thing we have. So, oh, $1,500 donation just dropped Woo! in the chat. Anonymous. Wow. Damn. Yeah. I don't know if it's the Activist Collective or just Anonymous, but wow. What a... Just interrupt my, my thoughtful speech, guys. <laughs> we are about to get kicked off. Gonna send it off. Uh, good night, everyone. Thank you. Here's our new music video for better. All right. Uh, Leon, Kiana, love you guys. Thank you. That was love. fucking love rad. Guys. My G's. Love, love y'all. Come on. Yeah. Now. Talk to you guys soon. All Thanks. right. Bye. Take Enjoy easy, the man. video. Yeah.